Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin here, and I'm playing Aegon, Aegon again. Um, today I'll be talking about arms fusion and remodeling your items. Um, those are basically the NPCs that are around here, and I thought I would make a video about arms fusing because, well, I never knew about it, and there are like no quests that explain it, or any of these that I know of, any tips given or whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought I would make a video about it and show you guys what what it is about. Um, arms fusing was introduced in Aeon 1.9, we're in 3.0 right now, so that's a while back. Um, what it basically, basically does is makes you able to fuse two bows together and you'll keep your primary bow and some of the stats of your secondary bow will be, be transferred in the primary bow so it'll make your bow better the way um why they did this why they added it added this in is because well for example assassins have um two weapons they are able to dual wield so they are giving two weapons so that's two times the attack for example archers or um, like warrior classes that uses two-handed weapons basically any classes that uses two-handed weapons will be only able to use one weapon therefore it'll lack attack so what they did is they added arm fusion um, I pers personally um, did it with my bow for now that's this one as you can see it has multiple mana stone sockets like five now um boosted attack and it has the bonus stat the crits like 13 of the other bow so i got eight attack bonus and a 13 attack crit bonus that's pretty nice so i'll be talking about i'm choosing for a little bit um it says here that both primary and secondary must be must be the same weapon times for example bow after fusion weapons cannot be sold, traded or stored, so the item will always be remaining on the character you did it on. The secondary bow must be equal to the level of the primary bow or be lower. So I use a level 14 bow I think and a level 12 or so. I, I don't know exactly. Um, the secondary bow is destroyed, so don't spend too much on it. And it can be the primary bow can be arms broken to its original state. Um, Alright, so the empathy for the Elios side is Kane. And for the. Let me see. Asmodian, Asmodian side, it is Arthur. Um, hold on, I'll show you guys the map. Those are basically located here where I'm standing so yeah Let's cancel this alright so uh, no way it's not Kane it's Curio my bad so Curio for Elios on fusion services for the purpose of this video I'll be um, using level 12 bows so as you can see basically adding all those in, just right click it and the outcome would be this one so the original attack is 87 but it's plus added 7 and the HP of both bows, bows and mana sockets will be added in so if you for example why the bow and you actually socket it with a mana stone, I'll be using one attack once for now. Blah 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 blah. blah. Alright, and let's do that with the other bow too. Enchant. No, 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 no. Alright, so let's equip my better bow. Alright, so if I click it now and I add both bows in, doesn't really matter which one of is on top. This one is the item you keep and this is the item you, 
you that will be destroyed so pay attention to that or oh, that that's the item that will be destroyed so pay attention to that um if i now were to click okay and fuse it you would have both mana sockets will will be remaining so both of the attack will be added in on your bone so the existing mana stones will be added in if you decide to uh, buy a weapon and it already has a certain mana stone to it and you want to remove it then go to Kane click remove mana stone uh, click the item that you want to remove it on as you can see click OK right and as you can see is this one it has no attack anymore so if you decide to uh, buy a bow that already has certain mana stones attached to it, you can remove it here. So this is a way of making your bow bows way stronger than they, than they are. 10% um, of the secondary bow will be transferred into the primary one. Um, God, if you have godstones on both bows, you'll only keep the godstone on your primary bow. So do not use two godstones because they are a lot on both bows because you'll lose your secondary one and you'll you will always keep the appearance of the primary bow all right so let's see if you wanted to remodel your items that's possible too modify appearance um, basically you would have to so you keep this bow and you want for example you wanted the appearance of a level tw 24 bow that way you get this appearance but the same stat you do not get any other stats just the appearance so yeah I'm not gonna do this because this bow cost me like 100k so I'm keeping this one but yeah if you wanted to that's a possibility too so yeah guys that's basically it I uh, the video is just about arm fusing. I wanted to explain it to those who do not know about it. Um, by the way, if you wanted to, um, you you can also do it with armors. Like you can fuse, for example, this top with the kimono, which can be bought over here. The fine road, is like all shops here. Also, the NPCs there. Where you can just fuse both items together and this is just an appearance item and that way you can get like a kimono or any other appearance that you kind of want all right guys that's it for this video i hope you like it i hope you learned something and i'll see you guys later thank you guys for watching bye